The brother asked a very good question. He gave my tape, Concept of God and Major Religions, to Arya Samaj. And he agreed that in most of the religions, everyone says God is kind. So some people worship this God, some people that God, some people worship sun. And tsunami took place and many people died. And people of many religions died. Hindu died, Muslim died, Christian died. So now, which God should be worshipped and which God is kind? See, as far as I being a student of compared religion, most of the religions say God is kind. But in Islam, besides mentioning God is Rahman, Rahim, merciful, kind, beneficent, benevolent, Allah also says in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 40, that Allah is never unjust in the least degree. Besides being kind, He is also just. He is kind also and just. For example, if suppose someone commits rape, and you say, oh, God is so kind, let's forgive the rapist. So if God forgives the rapist, I would not call him kind. What about the person who has been raped? If the girl who has been raped and she comes to God, then what kind of justice this is? So what will the reply God will give? No, no, I am kind, therefore I am forgiving. Will you agree with such justice? No. God is kind but just at the same time. So his justice is there and kindness is there. The person has to be punished. And then if Allah wants to forgive, that's a different question. But he has to be punished. If he rapes, if he's caught in Islamic court of law, should be put to death. After that, if he repents, then Allah wants to forgive him. That's Allah's domain. But he is just. While he's kind, he's also just. So if tsunami has taken place, any calamity that takes place, we have to realize that Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2, Al-Lazi khalaq al mawta wal hayata. It is Allah who has created death and life to test which of you is good in deeds. This life is a test for the hereafter. Allah is testing who is good and who is bad. Now, whenever any calamity takes place, in the Islamic Sharia, in the Islamic principle, if any calamity takes place, it can be two things. Either it is a test for the people or it's a punishment. For those people who are bad, who are disabled Allah, it's a punishment. For the others, it's a test. To whom the test is taking place, the person may be good or bad. So it is either a test or a punishment. If any good thing happens to any human being, it's either a test or a reward. If the person is good, it's a reward. If the person is not good, it can either be a test to the person who's good or bad. So one thing you realize that if any good thing happens, it's a test or a reward. If any bad or calamity takes place, it's either a punishment or a test. So in tsunami, millions of people or tens of thousands of people died. Now all these tens of thousands of people who died, maybe many were good, pious people. So the time of test is over. If the examination time is over, they have to give up the paper. Na? So those who were good and they died, everyone's time was over. Everyone, all those who died, the time of examination was over. So time of examination over doesn't mean everyone has failed. If suppose three hours paper is there, and if teacher takes up everyone's paper back, hurry, teacher has taken, time is over, finish. After the time is over, the teacher checks the paper. Ah, he was studious, he was good, pass, fail. So here, after the time is over, many people are good people who have prayed to God, followed his regulation, they'll go to Jannah. Many people were not following, they were dishonest, they were raping, they were not following, they will go to hell. So if person dies, doesn't mean it's a punishment. The time is over. Time khatam ho gaya, mar gaya, time khatam, paper time is over. Some people may have lived for five years, some people 10 years, some people 50 years. So each time the limit of the examination changes. So a person died doesn't mean he has done something wrong. Now, if someone has died, his family member may be in trouble. So those who died, the time of the examination is over. Now because some people died, the other people may have survived. A child may have survived, his father mother died. Maybe the father mother survived, the child has died. It's a calamity for them. That, I have such a good person, I prayed to God, but my son died. Son got his hisab kitab, pass your film, manum padhenga baad This parent is a test for him. Maybe the father and mother were very good people, pious people, so maybe God wants to test them more and wants to give them janate firdos, a higher degree. Now, if you pass a higher examination, the reward is more. And to pass a BA, a Bachelor of Arts is very easy. But to pass an MBBS is difficult. But the moment you pass an MBBS, Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, you get a doctor's name in front of you. Doctor, doctor. 
But to pass a doctor exam is difficult. In BA, majority pass. In MBBS, it's more difficult. Everyone can't get admission, first of all. So here, maybe God, those parents, mother and father were good, pious people. God wants to test them more, that if I give them some trouble, yet do they believe in me or say, we worship so much, now God is not good, and they stop worshiping him. One child died, no problem. At least I had a child for 10 years. Yet you thank God. Other people don't have children at all. So this is how they thank God. So then maybe God doesn't want to give them Jannah, Jannate Firdos. Not a normal paradise, a higher level in paradise. Some people punishment. So you are thinking that you have power, everything. You think you have money. You can protect your child. You can bribe. Okay, fine. Now your child has died. Ah. Yet he continues his bad practices or maybe he improves. So when any calamity takes place, either a test or a punishment. Many people who are wrong people, who are smugglers, who are rapists, they are very rich. So do you mean it's a reward? It's a test. You think money can buy everything? Okay, Allah gives you money. It is a test for them. It's not a reward. Otherwise, all the Muslims would have been rich in the world. Fine? And either all who say Muslims are actually Muslims, they may be namesake Muslims. Just by keeping your name Abdullah, Zakir, Muhammad, don't become Muslim. Muslim means the person who submits the will to God. So anyone who submits the will to God is a Muslim. But many people are namesake Muslim. Abdullah, Zakir, Sultan, Muhammad. You understand? So here we realize that it's a test. For example, to pass MBBS examination, you have to flog out, stay overnight, then you get. So Allah says in the Quran, do you think we will put you to Jannah without testing you? Allah says in Surah Baqarah chapter 2, that surely we will test you with fear and hunger, with loss of lives and wealth and what you have gained in your life. Allah gives the promise. He'll test you surely, in one way or the other way. Now depending upon how the test is, if the test is very difficult, teacher tests a bit leniently. If it is an easy paper, then the teacher tests strictly. This whole life is a test for the hereafter. Therefore Allah says in the Quran that those who really believe in Allah, they always say Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah means praise be to Allah, we accept it. You try our level best and rest to leave it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in tsunami also, it was an example that you think you are mighty power, you are the world power, then hurricane came, you know Katrina, what happened? How much they spent? In Afghanistan, Iraq, more loss took place in Katrina, only by hurricane. So for Allah it is easy, very easy. We think, you know, we are powerful, we are this. Allah can show you his signs just within seconds. All your power and all your technology, it goes down the drain. So all these are signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah says in the Quran in Surah Fusilat, chapter number 41, verse number 53. Sanurihim ayatina fil afaqi wa fi anfusihim hatta yatabayyana annolak. That soon we shall show them our signs in the furthest regions of the horizons and into their souls until it is clear to them that this is truth. So Allah is showing his signs. Whether the stars, moon, whether it be tsunami, whether it be Katrina, all these are signs. Who could have thought of tsunami? An earthquake taking place in the bed of the ocean and creating a ripple and moving at such high speed. Who could have thought of it? Who has heard this name before? How many? Not even one person knew this word tsunami exists, neither did I know. Now majority people know. This is Allah's sign. So these are signs and this life is a test for the hereafter. Hope that answers the question.